Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of Every Minute is Precious series. Today we are going to be looking at an example of a cell which is asked in your exam as an image-based question. We are look, talking about a cell that is given the name of a reticulocyte. The cell is having the presence of a meshwork-like pattern and that's the reason why you are calling it with the name reticulocyte. So reticulin-like or meshwork-like pattern is what is seen in this cell. If you see the percentage of these cells, they are about 1-2% to of the number of RBCs that we are having. These cells are going to get converted into mature RBCs and the average time required for their maturation happens to be one day. It's a unique example of a cell which is best picked up in the living state and when you are going to be using a stain for picking up cells in a live state that is what is given the name of a supra vital staining. What's the significance of knowing about a reticular site lies in the fact that this is going to be associated with uh, calculation of corrected reticulocyte count which is going to give you an indicator for the activity of the bone marrow. Now pay attention to the fact that the corrected reticulocyte count is calculated with the help of reticulocyte count and you have to take into account the hemoglobin value of the patient as well as a normal reference hemoglobin. So this value corrected reticulocyte count is far far more important than just the reticulocyte percentage for the calculation of the bone marrow activity in case of an individual. Now what you just need to answer for me is a simple question appearing on your screen. Which of the following is the best stain for the identification of a reticular site? I took the given four options. Just type your answer in the chat box and let me know. Thank you.